Welcome to Fake Deep Think. It's just a group of guys talking about a bunch of bullshit. Today we have with us John. Yo, yo, yo. Doc. What's up? And myself, Eugene. All right, so we're going to pop it off talking about Amazon's recent uh, app icon change. So apparently the recent app icon they had, which is right here on the left, uh, Doc and John, apparently it was compared to a Hitler. Mohawk. No, Hitler stash. I know. I was just talking to you. No, I hear, I hear you. A lip mohawk. Yep. And then, <laughs> because of that, they had to change it to this one on the right. Can you explain the one on the right? The idea behind it? I, the concept? I, I, like, I, is I, it a tab folded? Like a bookmark? Yeah. I would, I would, so it yeah, looks like... You know what? It actually makes me like, wonder. Yeah. Are they going to change the packages? Pa- like, stripping to that now? Oh, in fact... What do you mean? <laughs> Cause I, this well, because the reason why the blue one is the way it is, where it's that little like scissor, like it's like tape, right? Bottom, that, yeah, but it's no, tape. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're gonna no, we're gonna change the way we cut tape next. Because look at that's that. what I'm, th- I'm thinking they're gonna do. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, I knew you were going there, Doc. That's no, why when you asked the question, I said Doc's going to this. a place, <laughs> a dark place. This. Yeah, fuck it. And then we're gonna get rid of mohawks. <laughs> no more mohawks. And then and then no more tides or waves. Or ribbon. Bart Simpson's head? Ooh. Banned. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> but that's that's, that's inverted, though. No. So what is that, would that still apply? I mean, it's inverted, but what part, Gene? It's spikes. Bro. So it's, yeah. it's both. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if that person, or that Bart Simpson, what if somebody flips that shit over? That's what I'm saying. Boom. Lost it. No, they got to put a tab. They got to put the tab on his head now. So what if they flip his spikes over and make one of them like do that tab flip? Would that be acceptable now? Then he'd be Zac Efron in High School Musical. Ooh. Yes, you're welcome. I did it. I found the reference, and I did it. Thank you. That was smooth. Mm-hmm. The little hair flip, the Justin Bieber. That's where the bookmark is. All right, so real quick, <laughs> pa- pause the joke. Just, let's just read like a couple lines of this article about it, which I think is ridiculous. Amazon has changed its new smartphone app logo after uh, critics said the earlier incarnation was dead ringer for Adolf Hitler. The e-commerce giant introduced a new icon in January to replace a symbol of a shopping cart with one feature uh, featuring a brown box with a jagged piece of blue tape above the company's icon smiling shaped arrow. See, so it was supposed to represent tape. Makes sense to me. Yeah, because I mean, that's how packaging tape looks. (laughs) You're not wrong. (laughs) But sharp-eyed users... Wow. I don't like... Yeah, what? (laughs) <laughs> what? Why also, are they just, also, like also, also, complimenting yeah. them? Like I'll be honest, with trolls, you. If, if but trolls real, that are sharp so eyed. Trolls, trolls are getting a real, real th- like people are taking trolls seriously now. What? There is yeah. the trolls aren't even serious, but people are taking them seriously. Also, I've never seen my boss so smile. So are they called? So would there be a new name then for trolls? Because trolls are not meant no, to be taken serious. Trolls. It's just the people are. They're still it's, trolls, it's an old person but when you take it seriously, is it still a prank? Is a prank regardless of the, the the person involved. Yeah. Now, but if you if you too old to understand what's going on around you and you react, so that's on you. That's on yo you I, and your yeah. heart. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you all though. When I turned on my phone on January third and I saw that, I was so fucking mad, bro. Were I you? was livid. Were you? I couldn't even go to work, man. Mm. I was mad. Did they take you, a day off, you, a sick day. Did you file a class action lawsuit? For your, I got on my your computer. emotional grievances. <laughs> and I started fighting the good fight, bro. That's what I did. You know what Amazon is doing? Amazon is uh Amazon's the kid, right? Who fucked up at school and their mom's at work and they got home before their mom and they're cleaning the house and doing everything they can because they know their mom's coming home to whoop their ass. Amazon's clearly a monopoly. It's clearly a monopoly. But they try every step they can to be like, oh, we're causing too much attention. Shit. Let's fix this shit. Hurry up. Let's hurry up and fix this shit. We don't want them to get too mad. Look somewhere else, please. If they get too mad. Divert your attention. Exactly. Y'all get too mad, they're going to be like, oh, y'all too big now. Then they're going to shut us down. So hold on. How how long was that up? If I break this vase, she won't For like a week, I think. A week. week. Multi-billion dollar. I'm pretty sure it's a trillion dollar by now, the whole goddamn their business enterprises or whatever, and you're changing your app icon because tape looks like what Hitler? Does Hitler own the mustache? Yeah, six hundred forty-six billion to one trillion. Wow! In a year. In a year. Wow. 
I just they need to change the smile then because nobody's happy anymore. This goes we back to the to conversation. Put that shit is a goddamn straight face. Well, for, well, first off, the logo is supposed to represent a box, and that's supposed to rese- resemble tape. So, how if you see Hitler in that, isn't something wrong with you, not the logo? Also, Hitler's mustache is not that. <laughs> that's a good thick. question, man. Hitler's mustache was not that thick, and it didn't go down that deep. And it, I'm pretty sure it didn't have the spiky things. It was no, like no, it was no spikes. It was just you know what? I'm, hold on, let me just let me pull up a picture. That's of Hitler what I said. Real it's quick. a mohawk. It's more of a mohawk. <laughs> it's a droopy mohawk more than it is Hitler's mustache. That was like a fucking like cut off caterpillar. How does that look like Hitler's stash? Look at his stash. I don't see the resemblance here. Know, like that's a stretch. So, but go back to Hitler. It's just because people Hitler interpret was the caricature. A bold I think. Dog, Hitler <laughs> was a bold. Think about what he had to think. He, I'm going to shade the size of this shit and lead us in it. Well, he had a micro penis. Everything he did was an overcompensation. But, but what is this? It looks like a birthmark under his lip. Like, actually, this is actual boldness. I wonder if he did it to intimidate his subordinates. It has to like be, he, to he, what Gene is saying. Like, he fucking did it and then went into the, the conference room and everyone was just looking at him. And he was like, do it. Say, say something. Say I something. dare say, you. I, say, say something. Say, something. say it. Like, we can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> <With him." laughs> it just goes to the conversation we had last week. Like, the snake eating its tail, dude. It's woke getting too woke. Like, how do you see this I'm, and then immediately go to, up? Oh, that's Hitler's stash. Cancel it. I may be before I don't time. get it. I'm understanding. No, no. I may be before my time, Gene. Maybe <laughs> before or I may be too late. But I'm not right now. I'm not for right now. Because this right now is too much for me to accept. It's too much. Next, the smile, they're going to have to put it on the left side. Because right ain't right. Is it a smile yeah, or is it an arrow? Like, n- No, man. I mean, this is fucking... This is cruel to people that have strokes, man. Because they can't smile on that other side of their face. Yeah, facts. Facts. Yeah. And then, <laughs> uh, I ain't going to lie, that box looked like a nigga to me. It look a little, it look a little Afrocentric. A light skin? You ever, you yeah, ever watch, we need to make uh, that box white. But guess what? We won't see it because the background of everything is white. Did you ever I watch guess... Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Yes. yes. Skin boxy breath. <laughs> God damn. God Dude, Aqua damn. Teen Hunger Aqua... Force, dog. That's a name drop. I haven't seen that show in years. Fry. That was funny, dude. Fry was hilarious. Need some salt. But no. That was a, I don't, I don't know, I don't got too much more on this. Yeah, it's about just, this, is, yeah, I don't I don't, it's just, I just thought this was ridiculous and funny, because like, like we talked about last week, snake eat its tail, when woke gets too woke, like this, this is an example this of it, like how do you see this Hitler is preemptive in this? preemptive wokeness. What do you mean by preemptive wokeness? No, we're about to get into preemptive wokeness, Okay, actually. so let's, okay, let's transition. So we got more wokeness for y'all. So, Mr. Potato Head. Yes. Is no longer Mr. Potato. Head. <laughs> it is just potato. Well, it, it was. It's it was gender no longer, neutral. It was no longer Mr. Pot- Mr. Potato Head for seven days. They took my boy away for seven days. He served a seven-year sentence after seventy years. <laughs> he served a seven-year sentence, seven-day sentence, because they said my boy was was gender conforming. Oh yeah, here let's let's read this real quick. So even Mr. Potato Head finds gender conformity unappealing. <laughs> oh my gosh. The classic spud shaped plastic toy is getting a new gender neutral name, just plain potato head. With the toy maker Hasbro scrapping the Mr. portion. And then, I mean, everything else the, just. The yeah. company said Mr. Potato Head, which hit the shelves nearly 70 years ago. That's what I needed to hear. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, okay. And then <clears throat> Hasbro senior vice makeover. president says the cult- culture has evolved. The way the brand currently exists with Mr. and Mrs. is limiting when it comes to both gender okay. identity and family structure. Now, let me explain something about family Evolved? structure. Evolved? <clears throat> let me explain something about family structure. How do you make a family? Without a Mr. and a Mrs. You can talk about after the family, whatever, the, the after the, the, the inception of the family. What Mr. and Miss Potato, after they did, when they divorced... What they did with the kids who split custody of the little spuds. But as far as creation of a family, you're actually teaching them improper, like, like anything. It's like, not exactly. Like, That's like, why I laughed at the word evolution. It's de-evolution. Like a potato? 
a potato, and, and they have a missed or potato evolved. head. It's devolved. That's what so I why meant. couldn't they just add? Well, now they are. Yeah. We'll see, after receiving backlash yeah, about then, the backlash. Yeah. Then we got this article right here because they received backlash. They had to reaffirm Hasbro was scrambling to reassure fans that Mr. Potato Head still exists amid uproars over its gender gender neutral rebranding announcement. Hold that taut. Your main spud, Mr. Potato Head, isn't going anywhere. Its company tweeted on Thursday. Them. I ain't gonna lie. I need to say that. Hasbro for that, F- them for that tweet, cause that tweet, that tweet is the equivalent of like a bitch doing some crazy shit to you and then texting you, hey, we know what y'all doing, mm-hmm. we know what you did. Mm-hmm. You are gonna say hold your tot? Oh, everything's all good. Mr. Potato Hood isn't going. Trying to make anymore. jokes about it, trying to be funny. It's you know not what? funny. We need to demand. We need to demand seven billion different types of Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head. The spectrum we need to demand every type on the spectrum. Now. Good luck and keep it up. Every day there needs to be a new gender, and we need to. Because f- when does this end? When do you want it? Like, what is this? And then the baby. Will the baby be non-gendered? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I, I feel like it's stupid that they buckled because it's like, regardless of what internet culture tells everybody, there are still people that choose to be. I guess the conformists of what we always have done for families where there's a father and a mother, you know what I mean? Like the basic, that, that's honestly what it comes down to. There How still is that people conforming that though? I don't really basic. like that. No, no, no. The word he's conf- saying, he, he said, I'm, I guess. No, I know what Jock's saying. But well, I'm not, it's because it's, it's, it's just, it's because it's progressive and conformists are people that go back to the old ways of doing but this, things. This where actually other people to, that are progressive. This speaks to actually like just business wise. This is a lack of brand identity. Because the whole thing of Mr. and Mrs. Potato is built off of that family structure. So this is also greed. Because they're trying to reach into a whole new demographic. But you mean for like the woke people? Yeah, but they're, they're taking for granted theirs. So what they feel is when we do the genderless ones, the people who follow Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, they're going to get in line. Also, we've given them Mr. and Mrs. Potato Heads for 70 years already. We're trying to get people to buy this shit who haven't already bought it. So let's go to the woke group. But why would but it... But this is bad. They don't yeah. understand the brand's identity. That's my point. They received the backlash immediately from the people who actually support the brand. This That's is bad true, marketing. People that buy this are terrible. people that care about the original family unit. Exactly. Like, oh, we had this conversation this earlier about marketing, how some people in the marketing teams are doing terrible. Like terrible. They don't, yeah, like they don't like... Terrible. I think it's because even they don't know how to interpret the culture because it's so volatile right now. Also, I think they're, they're applying their mechanics that they've learned in school, which don't apply to anything we got going on today. As far as What like, do you mean? As far as like um, market appeal, what to do, getting, getting uh, beating trends, being before trends, da, da, da. Sometimes it's not okay to be before a trend. Because you're overreaching, the trend might actually not reach that place that you're going. Well, some, you're yeah, forcing something. You're not forcing actually something to be on a trend because it'll die soon. It will die exactly. And why am I running yeah. twenty yards before he throws the ball if he only planned on throwing it ten yards? This is a twenty-yard route. I just got the ball thrown at ten yards. We stopping at identity, understanding that there's there's different genders. Why we have to make it genderless? Now they're trying to jump the gun, run all the way out there, and be ahead of the scope so they can receive clout. We've turned companies into social media cloud chasers. We've said this before, didn't we? One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, we said this before. Companies are turning into cloud chasers. They're trying to monetize. Yeah, clout. monetize clout. It's funny because I would have, I would have cloud chased or I would have profited on them. I, what I would have done is, as soon as I saw this, like the the activists kind of doing this thing, what I would have done is I would have sold another version of Mr. Potato that had both the parts for the Mr. and Mrs. And you could put whatever parts you want on them because they both came in the same box and then I would upsell it with because you're adding the extra parts. That's But that's a good point. Like the whole that's thing about Mr. and Mr. Potato brand. Head was that you could interchange the parts. But what parts? Gene? But they don't sell what it that parts? way. They, Gene? They, they specifically... Answer the question. No. 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 What parts, Doc? I don't want to hear nothing from anybody else. What parts are we interchanging? All of them. I'm just going to put say, all, all of them. No, 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 no. We're not talking about ears. We're not talking about lips. Bucks on we're, not talking about, we're not talking about earrings. What Legs parts? Legs or arms? What, what makes the Miss Potato Head genderless? Answer. Answer. It doesn't wear a bow? That's a good question. Hold on. Let me scroll up to the picture of them. 
Well, that's well, the they sell them they now, So them, there's a Mr. and there's a Mrs. And they sell them separately. I'm trying, I'm trying to go to but the Mr. Do they Mrs. include a penis that's... and a vagina now? Because technically speaking, even under their own standards, this, this, is how, this is how interesting the snake biting its tail is. There's no way for them to make a proper genderless toy. It's physically impossible. Because what parts would they include? There's but you no would just way, have to it, swap in the parts of, that what we normally but, consider but, to be a part of those genders. But that's only two parts, Doc. There's no option for the trans. Because you can't or add no or remove genitalia, the, and you can't the, add or remove the exactly. breasts. But the potatoes this, don't have genitalia, what I'm talking exa- about. Exactly, that's though. That's John's point. That's my point. There's no genitalia. So what are you telling us is switching? Now, the cosmetics. Exactly. So if the cosmetics are switching, how do you make a toy that cos- has enough cosmetics to satisfy the group you're talking about? You charge them an extra 10 bucks and you put a f- bunch of more stuff in there. But wh- that more stuff won't cover everything, is my point. So they're, the mission they've put themselves on is physically never-ending and impossible. They will always be chasing... Well, that's not their goal. They have a... They have a they're, I see what you're saying, but technically speaking, in that aspect, they then have a way to constantly feed By products. Dropping new that parts. is true. Yeah. yeah, they can just keep. So they're gonna yeah, drop, exactly. So they gonna drop new genders. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there's a there's a, the spectrum of genders now that's come out is, in, it's it's never ending. But you what can, I'm saying is, the, what, what? Yes, it, it leaves space for them to market. Okay, we're gonna drop a dick this time. Okay, we're gonna drop <laughs> some tits this time. You get what I'm saying? But what Here's I'm saying is, <laughs> each one. <laughs> Each one would be after backlash, and, and they still my, probably make money though. But, so do they care? I, but no, I don't think I don't think that's sustainable. Because now I don't you, think so either. That's my point. Yeah, that's my point. Because now you've created a volatile. But they audience. don't care about sustainability. They care about. Back to my point. They've created something impossible to do. Yeah, once I, you well, talk, I do. Once, but then they'll pivot they again, like it, they just did. To what? I think if they were to do it though, they would lose the original fan base for this, which is exactly. The, the I think they've already the, fucked up a little bit too much. Oh, well, they definitely fucked up more than a little a bit. L- you know what I'm saying? Because like, okay, we pander to you guys now. We give you what you want, but the second we identify as we're trying to attempt to be woke, we're also showing how ignorant we are of the rest of the woke community as far as the other demographics we're not touching on. So then we're always going to have to constantly chase and appease those de- demographics. Perfect, perfect segue. Perfect segue. It's not up here. I just thought of this topic. I should have brought it up before. But what happened on Twitch when they did the, the Woman's Month thing and they called it Woman X. And they had a huge backlash from it that they had to – they came out – let me see if I can find it real quick. They had to come out with a, a tweet apologizing uh, – let me see – a Twitch – Dude, Woman. Twitch has been trying to be inclusive recently yes. a lot lately, and they keep f***ing up. And I don't think it's because yeah. they're actually f***ing up. I think it's just because the culture doesn't know what it wants. Yeah, Twitch backtracks after outcry for using gender-neutral term woman X. Because it, it's uninclusive to women. It's uninclusive to women. They had a, a blah, blah, blah. And it's like it... There's more somebody, evidence of the... There's somebody to apologize to every time. Every time. So what are we doing? Every time. Dude, so and literally this is my point. exact same gripe with Latinx. It's the same thing. It's just now you're applying it to a full-on gender. And the same thing happened. People got mad because of the same reasons. This is my... They were like, I don't think we need to change that. And I was like, that's exactly my point. <laughs> <laughs> These terms should not exist. Like reverse racism. Should not exist. <laughs> like, Latin X like, should not like, exist. These terms should not exist. We have words for these things. I'm not going around calling dat dogs bums. We have a word for it. Dogs. And I can't get mad if I go to this dog and I say, hey, did you feed your bum bum today? And you have no idea what the f*** I'm talking about. Why? Why don't you know? Because what? I didn't fucking tell you. That's why. So we have to stick to our... People, brands, whatever it is, stick to your identity. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever got you where you are, unless it's divisive and it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's obviously negative. Do what is do what you're comfortable with. You have a space. We all have a space. Operate within that space. Everybody's trying to operate in this new space. Mm-hmm. But guess what? This new space is so volatile that it's not conducive for anybody to really stay in it. Because people are mad at this for multiple of reasons. Like, obviously, the, the women community says, like, it's not inclusive of women, and apparently the women X is not inclusive of trans women. It's just like, let me just read these first couple paragraphs. Okay, so, the company had said it would use the term women X in order to be more gender neutral in its language, but the LGBT communities online called the change transphobic because it suggested trans women were not women. We're committed to growing from these experiences and ensure, quote, we're committed to growing from these experiences and ensuring we're 
inclusive to all. The company tweeted, Woman X has been a popular alternative word for people who just who say that the term woman has patriarchal roots. What? Some believe the term is inclusive of trans women and some non binary people, but that is contested. Yeah. It nah, echoes I don't the think <laughs> woman has patriarchal roots. Lady does. Not only that, doesn't. we're missing a big problem that Gene just fucking said. Trans people don't identify with this word because they want their own shit. No, they want to be part of women. Not that they want their own but, shit. But they want to be addressed and known and accepted as women. But this term yeah. is supposed it was meant to be inclusive to all. And they are rejecting it. Mm-hmm. They're literally rejecting it and saying, no, that means you're not including us in women because you're calling it a new term. Yeah, a new thing. I would agree to that. That's yeah. wild to me. So here's, also, I think, like a big issue too with all of it, though. Like, that? with a lot of these people, there are like some people that just genuinely want to be reassigned. Like, they just want to switch teams. You know what I mean? And then I think the mainstream can't accept that. So we're changing the word to whatever, like, Woman X is. And now that they're switching teams, they're like, oh, well, this isn't originally what we intended. And it's like, well, you changed the rules, so we're changing the rules also. And it's kind of getting, like, messy. But the other thing, too, is I've actually met people that are non-binary that don't want to be a part. They don't want to be categorized. Yeah, facts. They they just want to stay, like, out in the ether because that's where they feel comfortable, like, outside of the, you know, in the chaos of it all. Also, there's and more conversation And then the mainstream is kind of trying to... Weird forcibly categorize oh, them i think better conversation so if you're if you're, based off this person in the ether if you're willing to engage with that person they actually have to explain to you where they're coming from okay i'm a person like this i identify as this like i feel like i'm this it's not that I identify as this i feel like i'm this there's more nuance to the conversation rather than just being able to label something as whatever it is i thought you hated nuance though huh you me yeah hey nuance yeah hmm Boy, you got somebody. I else. feel like every time we get into some kind of like debates or discussion, semantics. you're like, man, that's isn't that the same nuance no, and semantics? No, no, semantics are useless. Okay, nuance is it's, is, it's, is is a delve into understanding. If I say, it, if I say, uh, if I say, uh, I'm about to challenge you on the definition of nuance and semantics. You can. I'm saying conversationally. If I, I, I get say, you. I get you. I get if you. If I say, uh, the dog's black, but really it's just a dark brown, and that has no that has no bearing on the conclusion of what my point is. And you say, well, the dog was black. That's semantics. Nuances is if the color is important to the topic okay. of conversation. Semantics, the study or science of meaning in language, the competence of a speaker with regard to the interpretation of the meaning of linguistic structures. Dickhead. Nuance, a subtle or slight degree of difference as in meaning, feeling, or tone, a, gradu- a gradation, expression or creation of subtle shades of meaning, feeling, or tone. And all of those definitions are outdated. <laughs> that's a fact I'm being dead ass honest no I was you. laughing because a little spit you just did oh, I feel yeah. like you were spitting <laughs> the whole thing just, this whole thing <laughs> <laughs> just sickens me I spit on the floor <laughs> I spit on the floor you walk on no no but yeah like like that's what I'm saying because the reason why I say the nuances would be important in that situation because you already decided to engage with the individual whereas the point of the conversation is the individual where the semantics is hey I was talking to this guy well technically i identify as a girl guy this that boom yeah well regardless we're playing basketball and i won by three it's not protected for the conversation exactly you, you just want to be heard exactly so like mm-hmm. I, I feel him with those people wanting to be in either also what is a cis male then huh what are we doing what are we doing if i can't That's call you text. woman if i can't call you woman x why do i get called a cis male or I, dude, I think we're starting to fight with semantics, and I think that's our, our culture wars being waged. That, dude, it's I don't want, it's, I don't I want no do part that. in it. Yes, no, I don't at but all. But that's where we are. The snake has to So, like, even itself. the individual who, uh, like, I, you know, I'm good friends with that identifies as non binary, they themselves told me they hate the semantics of it all. And they choose certain things because it's less semantic. But then when other people, when the mainstream kind of gets into it, we're like, how do we process it? Semantics. We'll put them in a a category mm-hmm. and then we end up arguing amongst ourselves because of the semantics mm-hmm. but we're actually talking about the same thing same thing it's going around in circles circles eating itself yeah. we need to get t-shirts made of a snake literally eating its tail and just says semantics on it just say semantics right in the center of it Ooh, we or, get the snake doing an infinity sign okay i like that better and, and then one can be semantics and one can be woke or just semantics and just... Just put semantics so it covers the whole fucking... Fair, fair. I like that. 
And then oh, in the sen- it, it'll say like says the it'll be FTT the fucking yeah, Ouroboros snake, you. and then it'll say semantics. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then we fucking, right. there's our first T-shirt. <laughs> That's it. All right, we got more of this snaking yourself for you. This has oh, been yeah. a crazy week. So oh, apparently, uh. <laughs> six Doctor Seuss books have been banned. <laughs> so let me read this this title. Oh my God. Six Doctor Seuss books won't be published anymore because they portray people in hurtful and wrong ways. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Six Dr. Seuss books will no longer be published because they portray people in horrible, uh, horrible wrong ways. The business that preserves the author's legacy said the titles are, and to think that I saw it on Mer- Mulberry Street, If I Ran the Zoo, McElgitt's Pool, did I say that right? McElgitt's? McElgitt's. Ms. Elgitt's? Mm-hmm. McElgitt's Pool, On Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Eggs Super. I ain't gonna lie, these some Dr. Seuss books I've never heard. Me neither, honestly. I, yeah, me neither. The I'm Cat's lie, Quizzer. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, that's a fucking, like, a, a, movie, that's a right? crime novel. Like That's what I thought. I don't know if that's a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> Mulberry Street, I know that because of that, what he's saying. Mm. And also, let's play a game. Let's look at all these covers and see if we can guess. Why? Well, Why? It, it's, it's, just based it, off characterization. It said the content, didn't it? It said portray not, people in the Yeah, let's yeah. judge the book by cover. Let's do yeah, it. Let's, let's all right. Do it. <laughs> okay, right? <laughs> We're doing this. Right? If I ran the zoo. Let's think so of the, the first one is if I ran the zoo. zoo. Here's the cover. It's got this uh, black and white looking Dr. Seuss character. Hmm. With a teal. Is that teal? Teal, teal nose. nose. Yeah. I'd say like a mint. Ooh, I think teal's yeah, better. Yeah, like a mint. Yeah. But I see, I I see the mint, though. Mint. Yeah, no. <laughs> mint, mint sounds good, though. Ice cream? Mm. He said, mmm. Because I was thinking of mint ice cream If I ran the zoo, okay. Let's, I just let, don't see it I still. Got, let, me, I, let me take a stab here. Go, okay. go. This Dr. Seuss book was written by Houston, Texas owner. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot his last <laughs> name, the one who passed away recently, who said we can't let the inmates run the, the, the jail. And so he wrote this book <laughs> from the perspective <laughs> of the players, as in the inmates or the animals in the zoo. This is a reverse, uh, what's that farm book that's about a... Uh, oh, Animal Farm? Animal, animal farm. farm. Reverse Animal go. Farm. That's my take. This is the, all of this is going to be a stretch, but sure. <laughs> I'm, like, sure. I'm sure if I run the zoo, it's fucking racist. Uh, that's the, the core That has to be issue. racist, right? It has to be racial. Like, they have to be saying it's racist, is what I'm saying. Not that the book is actually racist. But they ha- it, like he's saying, it has to be a racial thing that they're having a problem with the book. The zoo? Yeah, for I, I, I just want to see it, the book. So I don't know. Too, I like, it's hard for me to judge the book by the cover. It's hard for me to do that. <laughs> I, I, I want to see the book now. It can't be if I ran. <laughs> we don't run no more. We walkers. It can't be that. So it has to be the zoo part. All right, we got six. So, Go to the next one. Dude, dude look up the book in the monster, too. He's just like, I ran this zoo. <laughs> Whatever this racist zoo is. Like. <laughs> racist ass monster. Yeah, that's what a racist would look at you like. Look at his eyes. Like, mm, if I ran this zoo, you mother. <laughs> yeah, he looked like he dropped the N-word a couple of times. All right, let's go down to the cat's quizzer. Are you smarter than the cat in the hat? Yeah, I don't, hmm. I don't know about this one, guys. John, you're the clever one over here. Let's see what you got. Hmm, okay. Hear me out. Please. Are you smarter than a... What? <laughs> 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 oh man alright we're moving by this and one anybody who fails is immediately incensed next one scrambled eggs super I don't know what this one could be man I'm generally stumped by this one I, I actually li- like that title I was about to say I don't know it sounds like a good anime yeah right a scrambled eggs super a comedy though like that one mm-hmm. cooking anime yup <laughs> like I don't know what the fuck they pulled out of this. Like, is, who does this oppress or upset? Hey, like, what? What if this one is just more dark, and the eggs belong to a, 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 a another bird person? And oh, she's like, listen, listen, this is maybe one th- maybe it's because she's a bird and she's doing the conformist thing and taking care of. Oh, eggs and she- yeah, it's, yes. it says it says right here. So, two specific examples according to the study are found in the books, The Cat's Quizzer, Are You Smarter Than Blah Blah Blah, and If I Ran the Zoo. Um, in Cat's Quizzer, the Japanese character is referred to as a Japanese, has a bright yellow face, and is standing on what appears to be Mount Fuji. Regarding If I Ran the Zoo, the study points out another example of Orientalism and white supremacy. The three and hey, only well, three okay, Asian characters... That's like half credit. White supremacy, If I Ran the Zoo, that's racial. That's half credit. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, you, you, right? <laughs> you did it. The three Asian characters who are not wearing... 
uh, conical hats are carrying a white male on their heads in If I Ran the Zoo. The white male is not only on top of and being carried by these Asian characters, but he is also holding a gun illustrating dominance. The text beneath the Asian characters describe them as helpers who all wear their eyes at a slant from countries no one can spell. The study. I have a question. Wrote. Sorry, does nobody remember that little animation we watched as kids where they had Asian actual kids with the straw hats on and that? Like, oh yeah, I know we've seen some about. actual racist cartoons, but that's besides the point. I see where this ends. I think I finally got where the snake tail ends, Gene. Go. We're gonna we're gonna stop showing information that actually existed. Like for example, Roots okay. is gonna get canceled because it shows slavery, and that makes people know. feel uncomfortable because I you're hope depicting not. slaves I hope. in a in a you're depicting men. You're, you're just, we're depicting factual incidents, but soon the fact of it won't matter. It will only matter what it's representing. And showing a white guy in power. No, like context doesn't it, matter. Anything. The, 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 the substance. Exactly. Meaning, the fact that it's, it's just historical that, documentation gotcha. won't matter. And it'll just be look at this white guy whooping black people. I don't want my kid to see this. And that's what I we'll do agree it. with that. I just hope that we like preserve it in some way so that we can show it to people that it's something that we used to do. Like I actually do think that uh, that description for Asian people in that book is, is actually very offensive. I was just thinking that like I, like, I have a lot of respect for Germans that I've met that have left Germany to actually study World War II and its events and the way their country transpired them and stuff like that <clears throat> from the outside because it kind of shows me, like, the person actually wants to know what their people did because in Germany it's like a lockdown on the information of what happened from 1938 to 1945, essentially. And to me like that's kind of a good thing because I'm not thinking that person's trying to replicate it. I'm thinking that person's trying to make sure they don't make the same mistake. So I I feel like if we completely cut out all of this stuff then we'll just end up we'll making the same mistake again. Exactly. I completely agree. I'm right there with you. So let's but, I want to read this real quick and then let's transition topics. I'm not going to lie to you. This whole like Infinity Snake right now is burning me out a little bit, dog. So <laughs> this I don't so I don't understand this. So the study also argues that since the majority of human characters in Doc Shoes books are white, his works inadvertently or not center whiteness and thus perpetuate white supremacy. But my problem here is all the drawings are black and white. So if you wanted them to draw other characters, wouldn't that be even more racist then? An Asian would be yellow, a black person would be black. It like I don't know. I feel like they're trying to find a problem in things. There's no way to... Okay, let me put it like this. How would he draw an Asian? In a, let's, let, let, let's put it like uh, this. Ex- Cause, uh, my have, you, have, you, have you guys ever been to... Uh, if you travel to other... Like, when I went to London, right? There you go. That's the word. Somebody drew me a caricature. Mm. There's no way for a caricature not to be offensive if you look at it literally. literally. Yeah. So now if we're talking about a Dr. Seuss cartoon where all the characters are imaginative, even their shapes, the the... The, the dimensions of their body are imaginative. When he draws an Asian person, how does he draw that without being... Stereotypical. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be, he'd be forced to draw a white character with, with simple hair or, uh, I guess, curly hair, a black character. You just, you got, what features would you put that wouldn't make it seem racist? Eventually, white people are going to be calling white people racist against white people. Like in all these book covers you've been seeing, like all the characters have been well, except for this one, but I feel like it's just a cover have been black and white. Oh yeah, there's always been, there's the been some like colors that, yeah. here and there, but yeah, the book has always been just like pencil drawings. A hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. There's no way you draw. Like, how do you draw that without? It's a. It's, there are caricatures. How yeah. do you draw that without being offensive to a race? That's why the characters are mostly made up. Because you just drew people like that. The whole shit be looking racist. And in the time frame this was written, too, like, we were pretty ignorant of all the culture. So i cancel I'm... anime soon. Why? Oh, gosh, I hope not. Cause I, even though anime, the mainstream of anime is kind of bugged me. But, yeah, so let's, what do you got, Doc? <clears throat> oh, I was going to say, I was like, anime's already starting to, to get a little woke. But it depends, though, because Japanese culture is very categorized. Like, they categorically make things for boys and they make it for girls. They, they don't have the same mentality of like, well, this one's for everyone. Um, they handpick their products. I think that's fine, too, honestly. Yeah. No, we were talking about something similar when we were talking about how, like, the same uh, 
the same, not stereotypes, but the same kind of groups exist in their culture that exist here. Mm -hmm. But, like, there, they're able to hyper-focus on it. Like, how in their animes, there's always, like, the biker guy dresses a certain way. Yeah. He has a mohawk, or he has, like, the, the hair, the bang, yeah. Yeah, or the, 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 the high school bang, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, the what's, character Yu really what's his name? With uh, the orange uh, hair. Uh, with the sword. Yeah, with the sword. What was his mm. name? I don't know. Ah, what was his name? His best friend. Yeah. And he thought he died. Oh, Kuwabara? Kuwabara! There yeah. we go. That yeah, hairstyle. Exactly. Yeah. 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 His <laughs> ass voice. Yeah, but no, they, they, they stereotype, but because they're all one race, mm -hmm. it's not as homogenous. Is exactly. Yeah, and they're also as, like a small island, bro. It's like less than the size of Texas. It's not you know, that I'm small. Saying, the That's... groups themselves won't see. They won't see themselves being stereotyped as something uh, uh, negative, oppressive. Oppre okay. Because it's there's literally no race involved, but they're the same. Type of people, there's black mm -hmm. bikers, there's white bikers, there's whatever. Instead of viewing as oppression, it's more viewed as like a shame, shame kind of thing. Exactly, or you just. just and that's just, big in Japanese culture, is shame. That's it. They have that's no the only way you can do shaming. it is shame them. Yeah. But other than that, it's almost like just representation of of a demographic. All right, well, they also like they also like to remix things, but it's funny because I actually like it when they re when they remix because I don't know if you've ever heard of Japan being called the the remix culture, but they take things from that they've seen over here and then they make whatever they make with it over there. One hundred percent. And they flip the concept. So like, look at uh, Fire Force that anime. They literally flipped Christianity. Mm -hmm. The devils are the good guys and the angels are the bad guys. Mm -hmm. And so, and the same thing happens with Final Fantasy all the time. So like, mm -hmm. they interpret things their own way and they create a remix of what they're viewing so that they can sell products within their own country. But if that was to kind of happen in the United States, it'd be called cultural appropriation. A hundred percent. And so it's kind of hard to, That's exactly to draw what I was a line on about. it. That's exactly what I was talking about. And they're freely able to move Fire Force amongst is a good anime, man. Because like you said, they're homogenous. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's go. Yeah, let's transition now to this funny topic. To uh, uh, Mrs. Poindexter. <laughs> no bra got the tits out. Uh, dude, I can't, I, like you said earlier we, before we started, I cannot believe her last name is Poindexter. Come what a now. perfect last name for, for this. For only OnlyFans, girl. So a California woman who peddles sexy snaps and videos online Peddles. said her three young... Yeah, I know, oh, right? Man. Yeah, this I know, is a right? saucy writer. Oh, <laughs> I know, man. right? <laughs> okay. Bro, uh, all, you know all of those fucking sharp-eyed users or viewers came <laughs> over here right after fucking solving the Amazon problem. <laughs> sharp-eyed. <laughs> sharp-eyed. Oh, that killed me that they said sharp eyed when it came to that. Ooh. Okay, let me finish this. Whoa. Online said her three young kids have been kicked out of Catholic school because of her activity. Crystal Jackson, known as Tiffany Poindexter. Oh, no, her life is Daxie Jackson. Okay. Her alter ego is Poindexter. Or Miss Poindexter on the, only, yeah, on the OnlyFans app claims to rack in more than 150000 a month. So like access to naughty photos and videos taken by her husband and her husband, Chris. But her seductive venture has landed her in hot water at her kids' Sacred Heart Parish School in Sacramento, which she said has expelled them. And then we, we all watched the video yesterday about this. And my issue here, I'll start it off. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I, I just learned a, a little bit about myself. I've seen that 150000 a month. Yeah. You know, there's different states and different No, schools. you know, my, my issue is <laughs> not <with> her. <laughs> exactly. School, no, bro. exactly. Exactly. Like, I have no, like, if she wants to go on OnlyFans and her husband's okay with it, like, go for it. I don't care about that. Do you? You're making 150, 2 mil a year. Like, good for you. That's but, freaking awesome. But how can yeah. you be mad at the Catholic school? It's a Catholic school. They're obviously not hey, okay with she's this. Right, she was How can like you a Catholic be? Catholic girl in one of those. Yeah, I, I'm like, I put in, I put up some pictures up here. Like, where, where is that picture? I think right here. No, nah, oh that. That's oh, right here. Of, there it is. Boom. There's one she where tried. she has the skirt on. There's one where she has the the the, the kilted skirt. The, the where is it? Let me go. <laughs> oh my gosh, go. boom. dude! Under. Right here. Okay, boom. Without the tie. <laughs> Without the tie. I just, first off, I feel bad for the kids the most. Yeah. Imagine the jokes being said to these kids. Well, you know what's crazy? People were to, people thought my, my mom was hot when I was young, and they, the stuff they Is would say. Though? What do you mean? And this is a question. Okay. Will kids be more accept, accepting of that now because it, it'll be more they're, commonplace? They're, I, no, I mean, they're, so. you, I, you, you can say they're, you're, you can say they're kids, but 
Sure. That, if, that, it, if, it, if it pops up so much and those kids whose parents do OnlyFans are pulling up to the school with nicer things than you, kids process and from they, they, it'll be something, but it won't be as effective. Like the kid might not be. We might desensitize. I'm not saying it's good. We might desensitize the actual kid of the parent because I know I'm getting these nice things due to that thing. So I don't really care about the outside. I understand what you're trying to say. But the only reason why I disagree with you is because the simple fact, if there is something for us to make fun of as kids, we are going to make fun of it. Whether or not it lands effectively or not, the option, the open, the opportunity is there. So we're, the kids are going to do it. That's not the thing. I don't think you're questioning the effectiveness of it. Yeah. I think it will. I, I like just hearing it out loud just now. I don't know, man. For some reason it made me feel like, John, if you were a kid in this age and you knew a parent or a kid if whose parent I was doing only fit in. But no. I am, I've grown up in a different time is what I'm I saying. I know. I get you. But I'm just trying. My point, if you let, if you let me Go finish, was that you were, out of all of us growing up, our friend group, were more linguistically talented when it came to your use of words, when it came to making talking shit and making fun. I was an fun. asshole. No, I don't say asshole. You were an asshole. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm trying to say, though, is the fact that when it came to your... If people try to combat you when it came to talking, yeah, you'd be like, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? I would have definitely brought it this up. This was ammo you would have used if someone tried to come at you, if, they're, if, her mom, if their mom was posting pictures. But I, I, I even, agree. If, even if you were desensitized, if you were able to effectively utilize the weapon, it's still, it's still a weapon. Okay, I get what you're saying. I agree with you. But I'm just saying, I just don't think, like, for example, whereas if we, when we were growing up, if I use that roast on a, a kid, say your mom got roast, OnlyFans. I like there you go. I, I use uh, your mom got OnlyFans. I just need fifteen dollars to see her titties. I see your mama sucking dick for thirty dollars. Like if I said shit like that, it would hit. And then the rest of the school year, he's the OnlyFans kid. But now, I may hit with that joke, and it may hit for like a day or two, and then the kids move on. And that's my problem. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying I think kids' attention span on how bad or the – I don't want to say bad because try- it sounds like I'm judging her. I'm trying to sound objective even though I do not agree with it. The kids might- – it might not leave as lasting an impression on the kids as I think it should. Whereas with us, I'm hiding my face the whole year. Like, I don't want to go to I school go to- anymore. I want to go to a different I school. Go to Please different expel school. me. It depends on the sensitivity of the kid, man. And that's what I'm saying. I think that's changing. It's an elementary school too, so they were uh-huh. they were young, man. They oh, they're elementary young. kids. Yeah, that's a little rough. It said this, it's like, yeah, sacred parish. The hard parish. part about it is like if they're really young, and they're sensitive, like boys. Uh, I, even the video I saw where they're explaining like the whole situation, like there's a chance that the, the kid could get a complex. Mm-hmm. Um, 100%. But, and if it's a girl, then she could also get a complex of like, 100%. oh, well, that I think this is okay to do in the future of my life. Agree. Exactly. Like an example so, I saw, like apparently a girl who recently turned eighteen, or not well. Not recent as in right now, but when she turned eighteen, the first thing she did was post on Twitter. I have an OnlyFans. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. It's like yeah, what? yeah, like she it's, was it's legal old, it's to, old, to do it's, it, and it's just exactly. like damn, like that's rough. I think though, like if the boys were older, because of the modern age, it, it actually might land differently. So like, dude, if my mom was growing pulling one hundred and fifty k a month for like years while I made it into high school. Bro, if you roasted me, I would go, that sucks. And then I'd get in my fucking Ferrari and drive That's off. what I'm saying. That's my point. <laughs> and I wouldn't care, dude. I would be driving, listening to music, being <laughs> like, I I forgot what that guy even fucking said Man, to me. I like and that's my problem. So and, no, no, but but that's so what I'm saying. Because if that, if, like, for example, if he grows up with his mom making 150 grand for eight years, nine years, middle school through high school, elementary school through high school. You're well off. By the time you... By the time, even in middle school, when it's effective, you have made a correlation between the money mm-hmm. and that. So you yes. desensitize yourself yes. to the, and that's what I'm saying. There's going to be I more have, kids like that. And I then like there's going to be more kids who can also equally identify this is mom showing titties. He driving Benzes. My mom not showing titties. I'm driving uh, Toyotas. <laughs> I, can, I can say until the Toyota, when the Toyota starts to matter, the jokes change. So, like, as a middle school student, we getting picked up in the morning. I'm seeing your mama with them titties every morning. I'm on your bumper. In high school, 
I'm driving in a 98 Land Rover, and you driving in a 2018 AMG. Yeah, but your mama show titties. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, just rev, just rev in the, in the, in the engine, dude. But that's the thing. Like, this is when I when I first saw this, I was actually thinking about it. I was like, it, it kind of in a bigger like spectrum or a bigger like viewpoint. I was thinking, is that kind of where we're at now? Like, is the whole cancel culture people without money trying to fight people with money? And is America just completely turning into this thing where, like, it's okay it to do this stuff and f- to everyone around you, your community, like, completely get rid of your dignity or whatever, like, you, you think whatever you social dignity that you think you have to have if you have the money for it? Mm-hmm. 100%. Or is the social dignity worth more? Like, what's you – know, honestly, yeah, what's more, more, the money or the community? And we're at a point where we're able to make that decision of like, oh, well, no, I, I clearly don't want to be canceled. So I'm going to p- pick the community. Oh, I don't give a fuck about being canceled because I'm going to make 150K a month on fucking OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. 100%. So 100%. There's a price tag on morals in America. So now I want to try diving into the reasoning for the only, why she did OnlyFans. So apparently she was going through menopause and she was not have really having the urge to, you know, sleep with her husband, being intimate with her husband. So they, she claimed, I watched, I watched that video you shared, Doc. She apparently claimed, <laughs> Good news cracking me up. dude, it was cracking me up. <laughs> well, uh, it's a Gundam. Dude, he was yeah, so funny. Yeah. Anyway, so apparently she was going through menopause and they wanted to spice up the relationship. And she claimed that the husband recommended doing the OnlyFans. I believe it. I personally don't. I believe it. Especially a white couple. Not to sound racist, but a little bit, I believe it. A hundred percent. It's the men in those relationships that are the kinky ones. Mm-hmm. Always think about this. Okay, and it goes more, that. It goes that, co- that Remember, I said had, it. Yeah, you did I say it. it. You I did said say it, Gene, and I'm still standing on them t- Go for ten it. toes. <laughs> Go for it. Ten toes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more kinky? The wife getting f-ed by somebody outside her relationship in front of her husband. Or the husband watching. Well, that's not the thing. The thing is that nope. the, f- the fact that she has knowledge that men want to sleep with her because the OnlyFans, yeah. it suddenly riles her up where she wants to have sex now with her I'm husband. Ex- but regardless that's- of it, I'm looking at what they're both gaining. Okay. So that's what she's gaining from it. Okay. If her her gain is direct, she literally it has access to the people who want her. Mm-hmm. The husband's game is, gain is indirect, and that's why he's more perverse. Hmm. You think... There's a there's two uh, layers wonder, before you get to the husband. Like the husband who's watching his wife. That's why I said the husband who's watching his wife. Getting f- what pleasure does he get? His wife know. is getting I direct pleasure. No, I would never. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah. The wife is getting direct pleasure. I just Literally, don't she's having all. sex. You are not having sex. Somebody else is having sex with your wife, but you're enjoying it. For what? You're the sick man. You're the person. It's you. It's you. It's not her. It's you. She just <laughs> likes sex. Whether she's unfaithful or whatever, she just likes sex. She's getting sex. What are you saying, Doc? Oh, I was just going to say that, like, yeah, it, honestly, I think the uh, the whole, like, uh, cuck thing hmm. is about using that person. Like, watching that person be used. And so, I feel like this dad, who's her husband. He dodges some shit right now. He kind of fucking used her. Like, I don't know if he's... He essentially capitalized her. Oh, completely. $150 yeah. a month. And so that's dude, why I'm kind of wondering. That I'm like, is all. he getting off? Like, does he actually love her? Is he actually like, oh, well, I want to keep you, so I'm going to do this for the love? Or is he just like, ah, oh, fuck, like, this is ending. I might as well fucking capitalize on it and, you know, cut my losses later or something like that. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, make some money. Savage, off dude. That, that's savage. kind of what I'm thinking. Like, what is that? What was in that guy's mind? Like, what the f- Do you guys think he still works? I don't know. I would assume, but I really don't know. 150K a month? Why would you work, though? I yeah, exactly. This becomes your new business. Yeah. yeah. I thought this was this sentence here was funny. So she said that she would continue posting her OnlyFans, and the and the they intend to apply to another Catholic school. That's what I. That's what baffles me. Like, I mean, go for it. I got nothing against it, but do you really think another Catholic school 
is going to accept you or once they accept you, if they if they're ignorant of what's going on and then find out not going to want to kick you out again. And I feel bad that the children are getting the shit under the stick of this. Like they're now getting separated from their friend, their community. They're getting shunned all because this mother wanted to spice up her sex life. And. Plus, the Catholic priests want to be the only people desirable in the school. They, <laughs> they wouldn't want this lady confusing these young little boys. <laughs> Her husband said sultry. they think of it as artistic or sultry and sexy and fun and playful, but that's a lot of ands. Certainly nothing hardcore. What do you define the, as hardcore? The only other thing I can think of that this guy would get off on for... Doing this is essentially that he likes the fact that like other his, men... his wife is desirable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. She's, she, like, she's mine, and all y'all gonna do is see. But she's mine. You know how yeah. she explains her position in this? Not 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 the OnlyFans, but just being okay with posting stuff while she's in a marriage. I'm unhappy in my marriage. That's what that's that's basically what it was. Literally, literally, but that's literally, literally, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and we have to accept that. What's his excuse? But is no explain it from his point of view to me. But he's unhappy with his marriage. I'm confused what you're trying no, to say. That's what I'm saying. If, if, if I'm going to accept asking, with, if I'm go going to accept it. their side, the only thing I can think of is that she likes feeling desired, and he likes watching her be desired and getting her. My point. So that's weird. My point. That's my point. Weird. She can say I was unhappy in my marriage, so other men talking to me made me feel desired, and then we'd say you're stupid, but okay. How could as yeah. just I'm just saying as men, yeah. How could he sit in the room with us and explain that to us? You could try. Only thing he could say to me is, "Bro, hundred fifty bands." Yeah, a exactly. Month. That's the only. Yeah. Do you and think he's like two, two million? Nah, bro. Like, yeah. When I was in high school, I had to get the hottest girl, and now I'm doing it again at fifty. I feel great. Like he's like, man, okay. that shit. You know <laughs> what? Sure, I'm just dude. the ultimate wingman. I just <laughs> like wingman. <laughs> she thought she was my wife. Psych, wingman. <laughs> she for the streets, and I'm facilitating this. I'm her pimp. We making bands out here. <laughs> Dude, that's completely unfair. That's actually true, because imagine, like, if he's with a bunch of his guy friends. Imagine the shit it. he's saying. That's what I'm saying. The only way he explains it is the money. If it's not the money, then he's really sick in his head. More sick than she. I just feel, I and just I keep feel like back this article here. dodged him a lot. Well, I think the whole situation is because when the video I watched where she's trying to explain it, like, she was trying so hard to point the finger at her husband. And that's why I kind of was like, you're pointing the finger a lot to make me believe that it was his idea and not yours. Bro, I ain't going to lie. If you believe in the gender roles, then let's be real with here. We have to be consistent. Okay. If he's the man in the relationship. He let this shit happen on his mm. watch. Mm. Mm. And you know what happens mm. when stuff goes down on your watch? No, we can't reference Game of Thrones no more. That show sucks. <laughs> I can't do it. I yeah. almost went there. I can't no, do yeah, it. Yeah, we can't give it that. No. My other question about this is, why is this on national news, bro? Like, yes, this is some yes. Some small town gossip. Mm. This is but local news there, kind of bro. stuff, like, but it, you're right. It's just gossip. Like, why is this like, on New the New York Post? I'll Look at this, the New, New York, York Post. Post. Why? It's on CNN I'll tell too. You why. Like, bro. I'll tell you why. Uh, honestly, so when I first saw the headlines too on CNN, I was just like, those why would they cancel their kids from the school and then I saw this like Catholic school and I was just like oh yeah you, like dude if your dad got caught smoking weed they'd kick you out like yeah it's like, a Catholic the school this <laughs> makes yeah. sense like, yeah. why, were they, why are they why are you shocked more yeah. confused than them. Yeah. Like, I know and it looks like she's smuggling raisins in all of her pictures <laughs> All right, let's let's get away from this I just this <laughs> just this has been a f- we've had a nice little theme going on this entire freaking episode theory. I guess let's finish it off with more Jokes instead of going instead of going here, we'll go here. So Michigan woman charged with caring <laughs> for wildlife without permit. Animals killed by state officials. How does that make any sense? Let, Let me, me explain. Can I can I explain this in real layman's terms really quickly? Yeah, go for it. Let's, uh, A slave escaped from the south. Oh my god! Made it to the north, and because the war wasn't done yet. They were enslaved. <laughs> That's literally what it was. That's a stretch, dog. That's I don't know. <laughs> the animals were wild. They were rescued. They were safe. You came back and got them because of bureaucracy. That we were like that. That makes sense. That's exactly what the fuck happened. If you made it home, it's like fucking, you make it somewhere in tag. You make it to the safe zone, and you still get tagged after that. 
it's not fair. Where, where is it where they start listing off which what was the six animals that they took? Llamas uh, or alpacas. No, they right here. They, so what's at that's what at's their place, but it says right here. The agency got another complaint earlier this year. They, okay, here we go. The animals included a small deer, a doe, that was taken in in the fall at around two weeks old. Sassy, a half-blind raccoon with Down syndrome. Man. Wow, dude. And Poe, a one-legged crow and child, had brought it in. That's why the DNR, that's why the DNR is in place. We have places for these animals. We just can't rehab every animal. We can't rehab every animal that we get all get a call on. I understand that Julie took in everything, but what happens is she has to call us and says she has it. We just don't want everybody to do it and not be inspected because they're going to have facilities that aren't good for these animals. So you take them and kill them at yours? Yeah, I did. I mean, I've interacted with animal shelters before and calling the city, I know it's a death sentence. Like, I've been pissed when people call the city to to come get an animal. My mom did it one time too because there was a stray cat that bit one of my nephews. And my mom was like, I need to call the, the, the pound essentially to take the animal. Uh, cause we got to take him to go test, to get see uh, to test him to make sure he doesn't have any rabies. And I was like, Fuck it. like I, I instantly knew cause he was a chill cat. The only reason why the animal bit him is because my was nephew kicked it, right? it. Yeah. I remember you telling me the story. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember getting pissed. I was like, he bit you because you kicked it. And I was like, dude, I, I remember thinking like, holy shit. Like. He might be a serial killer. Like, what the fuck? Why would you just kick an animal like that? And so later on, like, I, you know, we kind of sat down and had, like, our talk and went through the whole fucking thing and stuff like that. But I remember the entire time I was also thinking about the cat because the cat was chill. He was sunbathing just there. And I was like, now he's going to die. So we had to get him to the pound. I had to pay the pound to keep him for the 10 days to see if he has rabies symptoms. And then I had to go and I had to pay to get him out again. And I remember lying to them and being like, yeah, he's my cat. I'm going to take him home and I'm going to keep him. They're like, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Cause we'll kill him. And I was like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause we'll kill him. And so I took it and I remember just like leaving it at my house. and was like, dude, go live your life. Like dude, put a call straight up him. two weeks later, he came back. Cause I, he was at my uh, mom's like yard and he came back and he had kittens with him. And like a female cat, he had a family. Yeah, and then he, he came back like, like, "Thanks for the yeah. second chance, dog. Look what I got. Check it out, doc." <laughs> yeah, and I was just like, "You bought it with the yeah, cat. Man. The cat <laughs> to let you know because was, of you, I got this." <laughs> if I was vegan, I would say, "Could we apply this to men, to human? Like, could we apply this same logic to what human you, beings?" What do you mean? Like, what they did to the animals? They killed the animals. They killed them. They didn't born them. If I'm vegan, if I'm vegan, I'd be fucking pissed off about well, this. Well, what blows me is this line right here. Hall said she was on a waiting list for the permit. So if she was on a waiting list for the permit, couldn't you just expedite the permit, the process for the permit, no. so that she could keep them no. instead of just taking these animals and killing them? It's Wouldn't that have... animals, Gene. And Vegan John says... Murder is murder is murder. <laughs> I'm I'm confusing how you're disappointing with or disagreeing with me. I'm not disagreeing oh, with okay. you. You're just assuming that. I I'm saying this is shit is stupid. No, it's and definitely I'm a stupid. Vegan lover of humans and animals are the same thing, and if yeah. humans should live animal, could we apply this same logic to human beings or an adopted child? You didn't. You don't have the proper paperwork. You didn't sign off. So we got to take the child and we got to put them to sleep. What if? What if? Even beside that, what if there's a child in a good home? A good home. Because they have not once in this article said that her facilities were bad. Perfect example. When people get uh, babies uh, from the East, Asian babies, Mm -hmm. and they like, you didn't go through the proper things to get this Asian baby, so we got to take this Asian baby and... Do what with it? Put it to sleep. What does that mean? That's what I'm saying. just putting it to sleep? But even if you're not even... Okay, let's say not put it to sleep. Let's say put it into the foster program. Okay. What if there's a child that's in a loving home, right? The child, you understand the facts, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They didn't go through the proper channels, but the child wasn't kidnapped or anything crazy like that, correct? A child with Down syndrome. A child, a blind, half-blind child with Down syndrome. (laughs) One missing a leg. One missing a leg. And this family loves that child. You're like, nope, we're going to put you in foster care until then. Until the, the, the paperwork, like, what is that? 
It just doesn't make any sense. This is this is another example of the snake eating its fucking that's tail. Why, that's why like, I was, this is just goddamn That's why I thought retarded. instead of going here, we'd go here because the entire theme of this episode happened to be just every article is about this snake eating itself. And like, what llama, are we doing? We're killing alpacas. Can you do me a favor? Can you type in uh, llamas on the run or alpacas on the run? I'll do alpacas. Alpacas on the run. I'm pretty sure I spelled that all kinds of wrong because I was... Right here? No, well, that's a like, thing. like, like, uh, uh, okay, it might be, it might be llamas. Try llamas. Okay. Run away llamas become social Run away sensation. llamas. We're back! <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, when John clapped, the audio just cut out hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, we found the runaway llamas video. God damn it. There was a white and a black llama. Yeah, I'm clicking on the video right now. I probably should just go to the video tab. Yeah. I think I'm pretty sure that the black llama died. Yep, there oh, we go. Yes. Yep, there you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, where's the where's the audio of this? Llamas on the run. On the lamb. <laughs> Llamas on the lamb. Lamb. When did this happen? Oh, years ago. This is unity. All right, we need to watch this whole thing. This is unity. This, this is, funny. is this is what America strives to be it's a black yellow llama and a white llama just on, on the, the run. run we're just on, on the run on the lawn <laughs> 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 okay okay i think that's enough fake to take it for today guys <laughs> we went down the crazy the black llama died the white llama stayed alive <laughs> don't say that <laughs> all right we're gonna find out all right make sure you follow our youtube page at fake deep think and our twitter at podcast fdt leave a like comment share subscribe it helps us out See you next time on Big Deep Thinking. Peace. Peace. <laughs> this guy. <laughs>